Hey, this is Crystal Lacks. I'm up. Um, still in the hospital in the middle of the night, just listening to some oldies songs I grew up with. But um, you know what really makes me feel like I feel like I want to throw up so bad, just the thought of it, that some people from another country is looking in some type of video or TV screen at me, my every move. Do you know how sickening that makes me feel in the bottom? And I really mean the deep part, bottom of my stomach. It makes me want to throw up. It reminds you of a man that don't that didn't know how to say no to his take no from his daughter or take no from his stepdaughter and he forced his way into her bedroom and raped her. When someone used a illegal camera or video on you as a woman, it's basically a man or a woman raping you in a cyber cyber form, cyber space form, because if you did not consent to any legal, any illegal videos being recorded of you, being taped and being publicized, this is like cyber rape. And it sickens me to know that I have common sense and spiritual sense to know that this kind of rape, if you will, cyber video rape is going on and to know how many people is laughing alone at this man or this woman videos. I don't know if they're doing it for TikTok paycheck or if they're doing it for money. The love of money is the root of all evil, and they will sell their soul just so that they could get a little chump chain from the devil on this earth. Why these videos of myself and my children is going on, going out there to the public, to the general public, to know also my medical history? Do you think that that is righteous? Do you think that is right? I did not give anybody permission to videotape me. Am I enslaved? Am I in the 1930s where a slave black woman didn't have no rights? Or am I living close to 2022 where there's federal laws that fight up against someone literally violating your HIPAA, your HIPAA privacy right, the right to your privacy. No one else should be knowing about your health condition besides those that you desire to know about it. Nobody else should be invading your privacy as such. Nobody should be leaking any of your medical records to anyone without your signed signature um, on it. No one. That's like a dang, that's a hospital suit. That's a dang staff getting fired kind of lawsuit. No one's supposed to be letting anyone else know about your HIPAA, your your HIPAA privacy and confidentiality. You should be able to be in a hospital room without somebody illegal video uh, taping of you in the hospital. You're supposed to be able to have peace in the hospital. You are not supposed to be feeling like you under observation and that you as a black woman is being watched and you're not being rested. Or when these people go put me into a hotel room, these people are illegally ob- observing me, watching me as if I am a black lab study, as if I am a black lab rat that just, I don't know, all these these other places never done that. It wasn't until I got around all of these Stanford students or San Mateo County and all of a sudden you as a black person become more like a lab rat. You are more like an animal seen in their view site. So that means that you're taking us back all the way back to the 1930. So now black people going to have to throw riots in order for you to get through that we're not slaves. Because that's what they had to get through. They had to get through a lot of riots in order for them to stop treating black people like they're inhuman. So it seems like these people, whoever they are, are trying to force people that is of a darker skin tone to go back to the 1930s or 40s. But at the end of the day, there was a lot of 
uh, riots that happened in those years in order for civil rights to come into place. Now, who do you think you are? And I must say this as a 54-year-old black woman that have already, for some of your kids, I have already grew up my children and my grandchildren. Who the fuck do you think you are? As far as your social 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 worker, I don't care if you miss Wilcox over there at Child Net or any of you Child Net. I will put your, I, I think I already put your name down for a federal district lawsuit complaint up there in Indiana. I think I blended that very well and, and with your phone numbers. So at the end of the day, for my life to be exposed for some little child custody, I'm not even even in that fight. I don't have child custody of my grandchildren. So why are they videotaping or probing all around grandmama's life and trying to block her from getting into Section 8 housing? Because that will make grandma look too stable. And grandmama don't took care of all these babies all these years. We don't want her to look like she's a stable one. We want her son that sit up there and do domestic violence. We want him to look like he's a stable one. The grandma that sit up there and took care of Antonio and Sapphire all those years. That grandmother that we're trying to make her appear as if she's an unstable person. But I've been calling about permanent housing for a long time. And it's been recorded. And it's been uploaded and taped. And and I've been sitting up here talking about my Social Security benefits for a long time for stable income. So that doesn't sound like somebody that is unfit to take care of a child and and at the end of the day uh, he didn't get fat from being four pounds seven ounce when he left the hospital to being into a nice little chunky little baby and healthy because mama and grandmama did that nobody else could take the could take any credit but for two years of having him that's it that's all the credit that they get the rest he had already had it planted in him his grandmother and his mother, Dominique Lacks, did that. So nobody else can take that place about Antonio. We already got him. The first five years of a child's life is very vital. That's their blueprint. So he already know his mama and he already know his grandmother. And no matter how they say it, the way that they say it, he know that he was a love spoiled little boy. So at the end of the day, he got a cope right now. So he adjusted himself to new people and he got to cope in their environment but when they get older they gonna come looking for the two main women that was in their life and that helped them and supported them before other people stepped in if you got a child custody with my daughter that's who you need to be focused on I am not your reason I don't have no more kids and it's something about these caseworkers that don't get it if you're doing an investigation on my daughter, therefore, I don't have no kids, and my grandkids are not with me, and I don't have custody of them. So any type of investigation that any kind of social worker is doing, doing a, a custody kind of battle with my daughter, you need to be seeking her, and you need to be having proper communication with my daughter, not with her mother, about her mother, around her mother. It's almost like they, they, they don't know how to let me go and leave me the hell alone. So they try to use the grandkids to latch on and to try to manipulate and control still yet my life because they used to use the children to sit up there and try to make you afraid of losing your children. Now that I'm not afraid of losing my children, they don't have nothing else to hold on to. So now they're trying to block you from housing. Now they're trying to block your income because, again, they got to feel like they in power and control because they don't know what to do with a self-sufficient, independent black woman that don't want to be bothered with them. At the end of the day, I'm going to use your food stamp to I can't use no more at the end of the day and when I once I establish my own income stable income I'm gonna let go of your hands and that so it seemed like the government 
or the government workers don't know what to do when you become self when you truly become a self sufficient and self providing and independent man or woman. They no longer can hold you with food. They no longer can hold you with their subsidized housing. They longer no longer can hold you with the little dang income that they give you. So the, the, what makes me sick to my stomach is they sit up here and got my life as a black woman, as if I'm a slave black woman on a display. And what makes me sick and makes me want to throw up from the tip of my stomach, how many people that sees these video that hears me very loud and clear in complete plain English that I did not authorize this, how they can still advocate, how they can still promote these people and be on these people's side instead of being on the side of the people that is sitting up here not doing no one harm, but they sitting up here trying to victimize myself and my daughter as if we are supposed to be their slave and we are supposed to be their victim. Now, I'm sick and tired of people not speaking up to, about these people. It's almost like you love seeing rape then because it's no different than a man going into his daughter room and his daughter is uncomfortable with him being there. Well, the same way with the cyber video, I did not consent to anyone to invade and intrude and infringe upon my privacy and my right to privacy as a, as a full grown woman. So the same way how I, uh, how a young woman will be upset about her daddy coming in her room and touching her in the middle of the night, the same way how I feel about these illegitimate videos that these boys and these men and women have put up over myself and my daughter and sit up there trying to follow us around with these sicking smut videos. It makes me sick to the death of my stomach. This is what's stressing me out. Out. This is what's making me sick because I want to beat their ass so bad. I want to get a hold of them so bad and beat their ass in court or or take it to the street and beat their ass. But I can't get a hold of them. I want to grab them. I want to hit them upside the head with a with a cast iron skillet. That's how angry I am, and I keep getting sick back to back because they keep on playing the ditching and the dodging. They want to do this stuff to me, but then they want to hide in the background and won't be a real man or woman to face a ass whooping.